good morning, everyone. I'm Madison Nosek, and thank you so much for joining me here on KXAN Live. Before you all get your weekend started, we are here with the top stories making headlines. But right now, a live look at your weather. Downtown Austin, you can see the buildings are wet, the streets are wet. We are going to have pockets of light rain today and tomorrow. I'm going to take this shot full for you guys so you can see it better. We have cool and breezy conditions. They can be expected area-wide today, with that rain possible through the late morning and again in the late afternoon. No severe weather nor flooding issues are expected, but just be sure to add extra time and slow your speeds if you're out on the roads at any time. Right now I want to switch over to a traffic alert though that we have this morning. Our photographer Lauren Ryan is live out there right now. As you can see, this is the scene. So the northbound service road of I-35 is closed just north of Airport Boulevard right by Bentwood Road after an 18-wheeler crashed into a building. You can see this 18-wheeler is still in the building. Those are tow trucks attempting to pull it out right now. The upper deck of 35 going north is completely shut down. There are also lane closures on northbound I-35 and other areas to make room for potentially more tow trucks that are coming. So be sure to plan accordingly for very heavy delays. If you can get north of airport, Take Lamar, Mopac, 183, anything, just don't take 35 because there are over five miles of backup starting at Old Torf. Later today, Governor Greg Abbott plans to hold a bill signing for legislation prohibiting COVID-19 mandates from private employers. That legislation passed during the recent special session and that is taking place at 1 o'clock this afternoon is when this bill is going to be signed. Over in Pflugerville, a heads up if you live there, your utility bill is actually about to go up $50 a month. Leaders say the new utility rates are for improvements to the quality of drinking water and wastewater services. In 2020, the city ran an analysis and learned it wouldn't be able to recover the costs in the fast-growing city. Several large projects are underway, like the expansion of water and wastewater plants. Also, a second wastewater treatment plant and another water line to feed into Lake Pflugerville. The projects cost more than $600 million. Overseas this morning, the White House saying that Israel will begin daily four-hour pauses in fighting Hamas. This amid growing pressure to allow for more aid to get into Gaza and to let more people out. Tens of thousands of Palestinian civilians are heading south from Gaza City. Specific locations and times of pauses will be communicated in advance. An announcement is going to be made three hours before these pauses in fighting. The Israeli military had told the U.S. that there would be no military operations in the areas involved. But Israel has said it still reserves the right to respond if Hamas attacks during a pause. And coming back home, Austin is going to be very busy this weekend for the Texas Book Festival and Veterans Day Parade. To help you get around the road closures, here's what you need to avoid. Until Sunday for the Book Festival, West 12th, West 13th, and Colorado Streets will be fully closed. The same goes for Congress Avenue from 8th to 11th Streets. And just on Saturday for the Veterans Parade, Congress Avenue from West Riverside Drive through Cesar Chavez Street will be closed from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. There are some partial closures over the weekend too, but for a full list, you can head to our website at kxan.com to see all of that. Again, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm Madison Nosek. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.